Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see, there are a little bit of changes. Um, you might have saw this in the last video. It wasn't actually a Minecraft video. It was more, um, there was actually two videos before this. Um, but there was background gameplay where I did include the new shaders, at, which is the Sonic Ethers, I think it's renewed. It's not PTGI, it's, it's the renewed version. Um, the water looks amazing, uh, and it's ray traced, so everything's not like, I don't know. I, I, I just, I like to switch shaders every now and then to see what I like, and honestly, I like Sildur's and, and Sonic Ethers the most, plus they run extremely well on my computer. Um, and then the other change you might have noticed, you might not have, um, but if I press M, I can hide it, uh, but it is the mini-map. Uh, this is a floating island, by the way. We saw that in episode two, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, one of the new additions to our survival world. I will probably add a couple more mods, um, but they'll be, they won't even be world gen related. They'll be, like, quality of life, like a mini-map. Um, maybe even crafting mods, shit like that, like new recipes for new shit, um, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's get right into this video. We're going to be checking out uh, a little bit more exploration. Last episode, I believe, we took a boat all the way out, balls deep over here, and we raided a dungeon. There was like three or four floating islands along the way. I don't think I actually explored this one, um... Yeah, I don't think I explored this island because the other one was a jungle and, uh, yeah, the other one was jungle and, um, cactus. So I might actually go over to this island and explore it. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. That'll be our first task. Also, a lot has changed offline because I did use background gameplay, um, in my last videos. Uh, I progressed just a little bit. Honestly, I just went mining. Um, and I acquired enough to make in uh, a diamond pickaxe, and then I started mining down to bedrock. I'm at Y minus 20 right now, uh, and we crafted a another portal. Or I didn't craft it, we made another portal. We also made a couple of changes to the base up there, which I'll show you guys right now. Um, here, let's swim over here. So we got ourselves into the nether. We haven't done much. We just went in and saw that we spawned inside of, like, Damn near a cave, uh, but yeah, let me go and show you guys the base edits, the base changes. So coming over to the base, you guys see we added one furnace and one blast furnace. Also, wow, that guy broke pretty easily. It was actually kind of shocking. Um, and then a, what is that called? Brewing stand. And then we also added this big roof. Now this roof was going to be the portal room um and i'm building it up i just haven't finished it and it's going to be a big platform and then that's where the portal's going to be uh but i'm also just considering having it to be the enchanting room at the very very top um i really don't know what i'll do just yet but right and as of right now i'm planning on either the portal room or the enchanting room um look just look at this world this shit is crazy. This is, what world gen mod is it? It is um I believe the world gen mod is Terralith. This is crazy. There's another one that goes with it. Uh it's supposed to be it's supposed to make everything like absolutely massive scale and it works extremely well with Terralith. Uh I unfortunately did not get the mod before I generated the world and I'm not willing to restart. We've already sunk a lot of hours into this world and we've progressed quite a bit. I'm very happy with our build. Right now, our base, um, the amount of supplies we got, our farm. I'm not too... <laughs> I don't really care too much about the farm. I mean, really, the Seasons mod has a bit of a learning curve to it, so I'm kind of just growing whatever the fuck grows. And it seems like right now, wheat is growing a lot faster than our carrots, even though they're still growing a bit slower than they normally would. Um, and then I'm very satisfied with our dock. It looks beautiful. I will not lie. Let me go down there real quick. But look at the lighting, though, in, in the sparkles on the lake. That is crazy. I could really spend, like, an episode of just sitting out here with a couple fishing rods and sitting here and fishing, bro. On, like, Peaceful or some shit. That would be insane. Doing, like, a time-lapse fishing while the sun sets. That might be really, really cool, honestly. 
Um, anyways, let's get to sleep. And we're going to deposit all of our shit. And we're going to head out to this floating island. Because I don't think I've explored this. Alright, there she is. She's pretty close by, honestly. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we didn't explore this one. Because... The one we did explore was so far away. It took forever to find my way back. It took like three Minecraft days. I was like at least two or three thousand. No, I think I was four or five thousand bucks away. I was in the negative. I think it was forty five hundred, but I don't know. And I'm not going to rewind the footage to figure it out, but I was really, really far. That's why I don't think I've explored this one. Also, under the floating islands, because it casts a huge shadow... Oh, dolphin. Uh, the ocean is extremely scary under it. Um, this huge shadow makes it, like... I don't even know how to describe it. It just makes it really fucking, like, terrifying. Oddly terrifying. No, please don't tell me I have to build my way up. No, the other ones there were... There was, um... Like a waterfall. Like, look at this. This is fucking terrifying. I'm not gonna drop out of the water. Or, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna drop out of the boat. This is scary as fuck. I am. I'm gonna drop out of the boat. Nah, fuck that, bro. And it's so deep that it's like... Yeah, I'm turning around. I'm sorry. I'm cow I'm a coward, guys. Uh, and it's so deep that, the, like, the shadow just engulfs the entire ocean. Alright, let's move out of here. It's like eerily dark. Damn, that might be an island we have to explore once we get our uh, elytra. Damn. All right, so taking a look at the mini map since we're already all the fucking way over here. Ooh, ooh. Let's go check out some of this ice biome up here. Let's head north. Seems like near our base, not super near, uh, but you can see this is our base right here. We have found a mushroom island. Let's go check that shit out. And it looks fucking massive. And I hope with Terralith, they've added a new structure to these biomes because before they were boring and all you could really get were like those mushroom blocks. And then, of course, you got the cows where you can get infinite fucking soup from. But let's check this out. It looks kind of incredible so far. I think right here is as good a spot as any. Here, hold on. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, I pressed uh, B. I pressed B and it pulls up my waypoint maker. Okay, I think this is the way to go. I'll leave my boat there. I see we are on this side of the map, so right here is where our boat is. We'll remember that. If we drop in the water, I'm going to Alta 4 because I'm too fucking scared, bro. Let's check this guy out. Let's grab some of these mushrooms. So where the fuck are all the cows? Why is this island so fucking empty? Am I on peaceful or something? Hold on. Options. I'm on normal difficulty. 
All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, I probably fast forwarded, or maybe I just fucking outright skipped. Uh, I spent the entire night searching for mushrooms, and I gave it the benefit of the doubt, and I thought I would wait till daytime to see if any, th any of them spawned. Um, it is now, what, 1 p.m. daytime? And nothing has fucking spawned. So I'm pretty sure this is just a barren ass island. Um, but we did get mu uh, mushrooms from it, and we did get a lot of iron and a lot of coal. So, it's not a total loss. I just, I wish I got to see some of the mushrooms. Uh, they're one of my favorite mobs. They're not my favorite, but they're one of my favorite. Um, so let's grab a whole bunch of iron and coal before we leave. Um, and we got a fuckload of mushrooms too, man. I also, I kind of wanted to kidnap, uh, one of those mushrooms with my fucking boat and bring it back to my village. But it looks like that's not going to be happening. All right, so it looks like we're just about here. Whoa. Okay, I thought that was a cave. Right, hold on. What is that right there? It looks like a fucking cave. But we are here at the shipwreck. Uh, hopefully, I've explored. I've explored. This is my third one. Um, and I haven't got a single fucking treasure one. Like, any- I've only had the one chest boats. Alright, here's a nice treasure room. I could load everything up. Before I start drowning. This one. Bubbles. Uh, bottle of enchanting. Alright, so we got a treasure room, finally. And hopefully we can find a fucking treasure map. Oh, is that redstone? No, it's not. It'll be easier if I go over this way. I guess this one. I, guess. I don't know. Um, mine down. Dude. Is it over here, maybe? There we go. Fucking finally, we have TNT. Alright, uh, we got some coal. Wheat. I don't want the poisonous potatoes. I'll take them. I'm pretty sure they're a recipe, right? Whoa, no way. Is that what I think it is? Is that a second mushroom biome? All right, so it looks like we're visiting this village and then we're gonna be heading over to that mushroom biome. See if I cannot kidnap me a fucking stew cow. All right, so we're here. I, uh, I don't know why, uh, but randomly there will be kelp floating at the very, very top. Um, whoa. Look at that massive fucking mountain. That's another mushroom? Okay, that's crazy. We're pretty far away from home. Um, not as far as we went in that second episode. Damn, and it doesn't look like there's any little fucking cows, man. So far, so far, there aren't any cows yet. Um, I will explore this entire island, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any cows, bro. Which really kind of upsets me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it looks like our journey is coming to an end. I'm going to go on and head home, uh, and then I'll catch up with you guys about the loot haul.
Alright, so we just made it home. Let's be on our way inside. Setting spawn immediately. Um, since we forgot to grab our bed from this barrel, we'll put our new bed in this barrel. And we'll take those bowls because, you know, we've acquired some along our journey. All right, so the loot haul is looking like a whole bunch of, of, what are they called? The geode blocks, including the blocks of amethyst, calcite, and the amethyst shard. Now, we can make a spyglass, which is probably what I'll do right now. But let's get everything deposited. We do have TNT, which I'm going to be putting in this valuables chest. Um, I'm actually going to go smell some of this. Just real quick. Let me also turn off my waypoints for home. Look at the map, though. We've explored a lot of our world. That's about as far as we went, um, except it was straight this way. So we probably went, like, over here. Um, yeah, that was uh, quite the journey, as you saw. Um, wait, what am I doing? I'm putting it in here. No coal. Anyways, I'll just put it up here. Last furnace, of course. Boom. And some of the coal. So we got a stack of coal. We got to keep in mind. Um, moving on to the plants. We're going to drop our carrots. <coughs> We're also going to drop our wheat, azalea, our nice drip leaves, moss blocks, a flowering azalea. And our hay bales. Ooh, and spore blossom, too. I've never seen that before. Um, we also have the red mushrooms. Where the fuck am I gonna put these? Hold on. Dude. Yeah. I'm gonna take this flower out. I'm gonna take that flower out. Boom. Take these flowers out. Honestly, we are gonna move these flowers back outside. We also got 40 iron, which was, you know, quite a bit from... Uh, that small journey. <clears throat> we did go pretty far, and the biomes that we visited happen to have a lot of iron, so I'm pretty sure we just got lucky. Um, but let's go on over here. Yeah, so it looks like our entire chest is full. We have 32 apples. Can we craft golden apples? Those are so fucking useful. Um, we actually cannot. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. There was gold in that chest. Alright. Um, so plus our 40 iron we got, we have an additional... I'm sorry, plus the one we had in the chest, we have an additional 40. Um, <clears throat> we got four emeralds. And in our last uh, video that I made, it wasn't about Minecraft. It, I was talking about something completely different. But I did acquire five diamonds during the background gameplay of that. Um, along with a whole bunch of other blocks. But right, for right now, we're going to drop some of these in the crafting blocks. Drop off our sand and our iron. Um, don't know why we have the shards, but... Shards. I meant the nuggets. Um, we're going to drop our saddle here. Gold nugget, of course. We have the four iron cauldrons. Honestly, I'm just going to place them over here for some decoration, I guess. Uh, just like that. Fuck it. You know, why not? Um, I'm gonna build a lava, like an infinite lava source, just for, you know, fuel up there. Um, we're gonna drop our bucket back off as well. And then our bowl can honestly go in here. Now let's check out the spyglass. See if we can make it. Please, please, please. Um, blast furnace. That's where it is. Spyglass, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go up. Oh. A little bit of lag there. Do not know what that was about. Now look at that sunset. You can kind of see the render distance end um, over that way. Gotta love the spyglass. Here, let's go to sleep. I wish, honestly, that it didn't have this weird texture on it when you were looking through the spike glass. I wish it was more of like, you know, just a clear view with maybe just your cursor. And I guess a slight discoloration for the glass. Um, but blue, maybe. Not like 
not so much fucking gray. But let's go to bed and see if we can't um, use the spyglass in the day to see something distant. See if we can see the floating island. <coughs> Alright, so I did realize uh, I will not be able to see the fucking floating island from over here, right? Hold on, how far does it go out? So we can barely see that sand over this way. No, we can barely see. It's not this sand, but it's this sand. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to see that floating island. We might be able to see this village over... Is it that way? It's this way. Here, let's... Honestly, I don't know why I came back down. Um, I'm going to climb back up and see if I can see it. So it looks like it's just barely out of our view, but this allows us to see so much further into the world. Uh, this will help with exploration a lot. I won't have to look at my map as much. Um, this map will still be way more useful, honestly, than the spyglass. But when I'm on the river and I don't know if something's land or a shadow, I can really just look out with a spyglass. I think this is going to be part of my daily kit. Let's see exactly how far we can see out. So those two blocks over there are this far out. Let's see. Wait, what? All right, so we're following the coast. That's the boat. This is the boat. There's a sugar cane right here. So I'm assuming that's this shit, right? So it looks like three, then a dot, then some of our shit. Yeah, that's... I can see this far out. That's... Pretty fucking far, honestly. Yeah, it's just barely out of our range. But that's still a great distance that you can see with the spyglass. It's damn near- it, no, it is my full fucking render distance. Which is really nice. Let's drop down here. Um, but yeah, it looks like that's gonna end today's video. Uh, we went out and we explored the north side of the map instead of just the west side the west side is really nice and i want to explore further just because the ocean is so fucking vast that way um as well as over here i didn't even get to go to the end of the ocean um or at least the end of this ocean i didn't get to see the land uh surrounding it right i i got to see a little bit of this this village blue dick um and we did not get to explore that boat down there but we got to explore this nice mushroom island um, this didn't really have any other benefit other than having a lot of coal and a lot of iron on the surface. In this one, oh, hold on. This one was also kind of floating, um, because under it, there was, like, this whole cave area. Um, honestly, it wouldn't be bad to build a base down there, or, like, a little midway section, but it's just too close to our base. So, if anything, it would be in this one, but I would rather have it even further than that. Is that a shipwreck? No, that's not a shipwreck. Unfortunate. What is that, though? Uh-oh, that's cobblestone. That is another dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. We might explore that next episode. Um, but this one has a lush cave to it. Uh, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. But right here is the entrance to that lush cave. Or maybe it's right here. I don't know. But it, it was a really nice cave. It got us a lot of our decorative blocks. Um, we might be able to bone meal those and make more. And then there's this island over here, which looks like a bit of an anomaly. So both of these islands look like they're mostly surrounded in podzol and the mushrooms, but this one looks more cobble, and it looks more like the classic um, non-modded fucking mushroom island uh, back from, like, the Xbox 360 days. So I might want to go explore this one, because this one might have a chance of having those mushrooms on there, and I might be able to kidnap one and bring it over to my base so that I can have an infinite supply of fucking soup. Um, but yeah, everybody, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know down below in the comments, and then I'll be sure to get back to you ASAP, uh, but I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace.